And welcome back. This is Kotel. Hope you all had a good week. I uh, got another War of Rights event. It is Friday. We got a UEC, and I am joined by another intrepid member of the Fort Georgia, Mr. Liam, otherwise known as Dora. How you doing, brother? I'm doing fine. Uh, yeah, I'm recently promoted to a captain now in Fort Georgia. Uh, but oh shit! Nice. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, when I reached out, I was second lieutenant and then took a big jump up, so uh, big responsibilities, but thanks for having me. Ah, good having you, man. Like I said, I've, I've had a lot of Fort Georgia lately, and it's always good. I see you guys at more and more events, too. I think I saw uh, Clarky signed up for, um, I think, War of Secession for Sunday nights now? Uh, yeah, we're being a second into House Divided, and uh, we're trying to get to War of Secession because our NA side is actually getting really big now. Because nice. uh, la last weekend they actually outbroke Company A, that was the EU side, to a, a UAC. Well, it was at HRE or something we were in, and they outbrought us. So, uh, yeah, so they've actually got quite big now. So, we'll try to get more events running up for them and, uh, yeah, try to get that NA side going as well. Nice, man. Good to see. All right, so looking at the two sides today, um, on this Boulevard Heights for Doubt. Server pop is 235, 121 on the attacking CSA versus 114 on the defending Union. Let's see, the CSA has 3rd Alabama under Williamson. And then speak of the uh, devil, Mr. Clarkey, leading Fort Georgia. You got 2 Corps under O'Hara, 18th North Carolina under Todd. And 6 Texas under Kecko and Lyferic leading the ANV. It looks like we got a lot of Artie as well, including one of your guys. Uh, Fort Georgia looks like they got a battery going under uh, Private Anton. And then we've got GLA and Jeff Davis battery as well under Fork and Tim. So a lot of Artie on this map. Holy crap. Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually quite a lot for CSA. Yeah, that's... All right, so Clarky uh, leading uh, on this attack. What are you thinking, uh, 24 guys? How do you think he'll uh, try to approach this map? Um, Clarky, he's a quite a invigorous man. He quite likes to just get in there, get stuff going. So, I mean, personally, I would try and just get a mass charge into the centre, try to take that read out, even if we don't have bayonets. Uh, that I would probably think he he would do. But if not, he might either take that left side approach, maybe try and. Uh, out, maybe try and shoot them, get another wee breach head for the left side of that readout. Uh, but yeah, I think he would just go for it. Yeah, I, 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 I think that might work well for him if the team goes for that. I mean, it's, the thing is, oh, we don't have bayonets. The other team doesn't have bayonets either. Yeah, We all don't have bayonets together, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just go in there, we, uh, try and outnumber them, I would say. Uh, that's what I would do personally, but uh, yeah, Clark, he would either. He would either do the same or he would either go that far left side to that readout and try and uh, get some shots in. We'll see here in a minute, uh, starting at 40. On the other side, we have SB under Cap Multi. We've got 20 to Georgia under Jumbo. AGL under Juicy B. We've got LFL under Major Hookah. And 56 Virginia under Slaughter. 52nd New York under John Beck. And looks like they got a little bit of Artie as well. Looks like they've got LFL under Captain Surflex and then MBAT under Perkington. Oh, there's more down here. Shit, I didn't even see. They all, they got four total guns. And now they got another cannon under Forbin under LFL. And Dalheimer leading the VA bat. What do you think about the Union putting so much Artie uh, crews on there? Do you think that's... Uh, um, well, I mean, I'm personally, I would try and get as many infantry I would get. But if... If they are, they manage to get those gun out and be able to actually use them whenever they see the attack, it would actually pay out quite a lot, especially at the double quick when they're sprinting. But yeah, I, I would, uh, if I was a union, I'd try and get as many rifles as I can and just uh, try and outgun the uh, CSA. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm always concerned when I see this much already. I, I think one or two cannons makes sense, but I always get nervous when I see a full complement of guys because that's it's. Yeah. Six rifles can make a difference. Uh, it can in Charlie, especially when there's no bayonets. It can make that, that difference in between and in. Wait and see here. So we are now live. Come down here. Let me see if I can find your arty battery here. Fort George's. Let's see. Where are they? Oh, here they are. Okay, way in the back here. Oh, yeah, I see them. 
trying to get their gun up. I mean, uh, the CSA as well with fifty men in Ardy, you know, it's a really, it's a really big difference as well. But if if I was Ardy uh, with Fourth Georgia, I might try and do some sneaky stuff and try and take one of the cannons at the readout. Oh, kid. I would, I would absolutely do something like that if you can get that bridgehead and then turn the cannons on him. It's always a good uh, yeah, game changer sometimes. Well, looks like. Uh... I don't know, it's kind of tough to tell initially here on the approach. It's definitely not going to the right. I'm not sure if this is going center or going left. I think it's going center. Yeah, um, yeah I think it's going center. I think it's a bit, it's a bit too broken up, though, the CSA attack. Yeah. Oh, that CSA um, already just nailed the LFL over here. Did they? Oh, that's a good shot, yeah. That's very good. Oh, I see the big blood spill. Oh. Yeah, it seems like for the Alabama and 18th North Carolina right here uh, doing their best before trying to get everyone else set up for the same thing. Yeah, maybe trying to do a little bit of screen, maybe just trying to get some shots in. Although I'm, I'm yeah. not a big fan of stopping here, I think I'm with you. Yeah, I, I, would, I wouldn't stop in that open area because, uh, you know, I, I feel like it where that breachhead is in the center, it's quite weak, not a lot of union there, so... Oh, and in fact, yeah. they might have, uh, they're going too now. Well, I don't know. It's, it's tough to tell here. Yeah, uh, seems like 18, 6 and ANV is actually pushed right up. Yeah. Looks like 18 North Carolina is the first one into the breach here. Yep. I thought Alabama falling in there. That's what, that's what I would personally do. I'm kind of surprised the rest of the team isn't moving up more aggressively, though. Yeah, um, seems like second core and my guys are actually uh, out, out of the rear here. But, I mean, I would... For the Alabama, trying their best here. Trying to hold that little, little breach head in the readout there. Yeah, I mean, the problem I have with this right now is, is yeah, I got them doing covering fire, but really all the unions just going to concentrate on that flag and... The numbers won't really work. Okay, six Texas is moving in now. Yep. See, uh, it's a massacre. Uh, but this is—you can't go in one unit at a time like this. This is just. Yeah. In I mean, fact, all they're gonna do is lose their flags forward, which is horrible. Well, oh, that guy did a did a flip in the air. He's trying out for the Olympics. Oh, uh, I like uh, for the Alabama. Oh, they're it's pretty smart. No, uh, especially when they've got two flags. No, they got those two flags out just in time. Yeah, uh, just in time. Uh, actually, uh, Clarky here has actually disappointed me. Oh, uh, you hear that, Clarky? Oh boy. Yeah, he's he's out here volleying. I mean, I, I do get the covering fire, but like you said, so, you know, unless you're not making big cha like big uh, casualties, it's not going to do much. No, I mean, I, I can understand this if the strategy is getting him in this position for Artie to hit him. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, if that's the idea, maybe. In fact, I'm seeing some good effects from Artie still. There, there's oh, yeah. a beautiful one. Yeah, there's a beautiful one. I, I'm glad I got oh. the comment in before they did it. <laughs> I got it in before they did it. Oh, SB's gone, man. Oh, yep, man. yep, yep. Who was that? I can let me try and see what battery done that. I think that was GLA though. Uh, yeah, yeah. I got there too late to see what the actual uh, shot was. Yeah, it seems like oh the union tried to do some counter battery. I saw that one. Just caught that one now. Yeah, I I think that's a waste of time to be honest with you. Yeah, no, I was. I mean, at least uh, at least they're using the cannons instead of just uh, you know have them there and pretty much dying. But I'm actually, I'm actually quite surprised here, the CSA. The Union's actually done quite a good job at holding off that first attack, but it was just one unit and one unit, so it was pretty much just beat them in detail. Uh, yeah, and like I said, I mean, if, if the idea is... I mean, what do you think of the idea of just trying to draw them into already range for the, for the I mean, first 10 minutes and then bayonets start attacking in, in uh, I mean, if, earnest? Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it can work, especially when you've got uh, 15 guys in artillery, so it's like four guns, maybe five or something, I don't know how many guns it is in total. But if you can try and draw them out of that readout, then yeah, but uh, also one thing that you, the Union 
uh, kind of lack, well not lack, they're really doing very well, but uh, as in with the map uh, placement, that the CSAR, they can already see them, even behind the reader, slightly, so, I mean, it, it, it can work, uh, but, I mean, preferably I would have just went in. Uh, but if they're waiting for bayonets, then that's, that's fair. That's pretty much as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I, I think that's what the strategy is. Um, I'm not positive, though, but that's the only thing that really makes sense to me right now. I, I'm kind of like you. I prefer just getting stuck in early and, and letting, them, letting the club decide the fight. Yeah, it, uh, it's like, I think that decides this map is just how many guys you can get into that center part of the readout. <laughs> but no, yeah, I do, I do like this plan. I'm doing, I do slightly get if it works. If it works, we'll see what happens, I guess. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I mean, as far as casualties go, the union's not doing horrible though. That's that's kind of a problem I have with this right now. Mm -hmm. As far as the ticket balance, usually you want to be a little bit further down. I mean, it's not horrible, but you know we're at 33, and it's still above halfway. I'd like yeah. to be at least engaged by the 30 minute mark, but... I mean, uh, la last time I led the uh, readout, I mean, I, I do quite like... I would have liked the Union pickets to actually maybe be... Like, I would be happy if they're still in battle ready, but like, if they're just about to go and engage about this time, that's what I would be happy with. Uh, but I think the CSA are trying to maybe wrap round to the left. Yeah, I see, I see LFLs kind of stuck out here a little bit. I, I think they might get... Uh, I'm not sure about staying here right now for them. Yeah, SB is joining them out here. Uh, I think, well, if fourth Jord, if Clarkie could maybe... Uh, this position's not bad that the CSA are in there now, but uh, if they could maybe try and get a bit more left, it could maybe catch them out. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Uh, he's but he, yeah, he's in a tough gunfight right now with SB. Mm -hmm. Any any movement, it's going to be tough because he'll lose time on shots. Yeah, it's, it's, I, I think if it was just LFL, you'd have time. But since SB's came here, it's uh, all about whoever whoever can get the most uh, shots down range now. Oh, they they put in some holes. I mean, they got uh, they got some support here, but they uh, SB's getting. Yeah, SB's yeah, knocked yeah. back. Maybe now's the They're opportunity. Gone. Yeah, it might be now. I, the, the only thing is, is this, this AGL in 20th Georgia position is still really strong here. So uh, that could maybe pose a threat to that right flank of the C, uh, CSA if they push that left side. Uh, possibly, yeah. I mean, you still have 3rd Alabama uncommitted, so they might yeah, be able to I mean, check yeah. them. No. Yeah. I mean, for the Alabama bring has a numbers anyway, I think. Well, like, uh, last weekend, uh, I was reading, I heard it was the Russians, and then I uh, had like four, like, had, like, I mean, had like 16. And I was like, right, that's it, everybody run. <laughs> oh, die. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of yeah. how that goes with them, yeah. yeah. Um, although now it's, um, LFL's been pushed back along with the SB, so that, that flank is open if the CSA wants to move there now, but. Uh, yeah. It seems like they're happy to sit in the center. Maybe they're waiting for that 30-minute mark for the for the big charge here. Yeah, I mean, uh, if they're waiting, I mean, I, I would wait the time because uh, if you if you compare the numbers between that uh, SB and LFL on the right compared to AG, uh, 56 AGL and 20th, maybe getting old Charles at the same time won't actually crumple the center of the C uh, Union if that actually happens. But as I say that, SB is now coming over to the centre. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of a bigger lift now with SB there. Yep. Um, oh, 56. Uh, yeah, yeah, batteries trying to get some shots out. But I mean, that CSAR is doing some great work on this map. Yeah, oh yeah. Back, yeah, here we go. Who's oh, that going on? 18th. 18th again. Again, I, I don't, I don't like these single units going in. I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of this. No, me neither, because it just drains those tickets. Here comes for Alabama. Both going in with them. Here we go. We've got some. Uh, 
some meat coming in now. But I don't think it worked because the union of braced that centre very hard. Oh, here comes SP with a flank attack around the side though, yeah, trying to knock that, out their flags. Yeah, that was really, that was really, that was good awareness from SP right there. Uh, here comes A and V now, coming in. Oh, sec second core. I quite like this actually. Some second core here, trying to suck around that left flank, trying to receive some pressure in the center. Uh, I, I mean, it looks like they're gonna run into LFL though, to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, big unit anyway. I don't I mean, think I don't I, think second core is quite enough to knock off LFL on this. Yeah, I mean personally, what I would have done is I wouldn't have full sent the charge. I'd have just preferred to get like flags in there. Try get like just bodies on that readout. Uh, but I think from those stringed out charges, uh, it seems like pretty much the only full units six Texas. Yeah, and that's uh, now they're moving up, which I think is a mistake because now the whole unit is kind of set there. I, I I don't know about this. Either. I think, see if this, even though it's a mismatch, I like 4th Georgia, 18th and A and V, I think if they just get in there, that centre now, they can maybe try and uh, get some people in there. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 it's, you don't have to push it, as long as you can hold it and attrit them, you know. Yeah, I, like, what, the way I see this map is try and get those bodies on that redoubt. Yeah. That's the way I see it from the CSA. Yeah. My, my, the union is yeah. doing very well. No, I, I like the way Union's playing. I mean, my philosophy for the Union on this map is make the clock your friend. Yeah, it's, this map is a... That clock is your best bud. It's, yeah, you've grew up with them, you know. So you've got to keep them on your side. Yep. Oh, looks here comes Clarky and Todd on that... On They're going on the left side here. Mm, Todd's going in. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't, don't quite like this here from Todd, but I mean... Uh, I mean, maybe he's yeah. trying to draw a volley, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, even if he does draw a volley, there's not enough um, for the CSA here to try and dislodge that LFL group. Oh, wait a second. HEL's making a move out here. Oh, fourth George is going in. Oh, them going up against LFL again. Yep. But the CSA has got to watch this AGL unit here. Yeah, that's what I was Coming talking about up. earlier. They're going to try to yeah. wrap up this flank here. Yeah, that's actually that's quite smart from Jesse. I quite like that play there. Trying to attack that respawn point. He is. He's got the both flags down as well. Both, yeah, both flags oh, are down, and Juicy gives the charge. And that is going to cut the legs out from the un from the CSA here. Yep, that's it. That's a wrap. Yeah, that, that play actually from uh, second lieutenant is it Juicy. It's yep. actually quite smart. Uh, Juicy quite B, like yeah. That. I mean, the attack on the center is not going horrible, but again, it's got no legs anymore because it doesn't have flags. Yeah, right. there's no flags, no spawn points. Further Obama coming back in here. I wonder if they go for those flags. I mean, that's what I would do, personally. Uh, yeah, I would I would just take the flags back and just make sure you mm -hmm. have that forward position yeah. still. But, I mean, the Union is quite uh, a lot of damage, but, I mean, the Union have still got quite a lot of units you work full unit lfl there yeah they're, they're holding yeah they're holding oh, oh, like this. oh here comes third alabama's going right in there we go yeah this is uh, williamson i like what he's doing here just use that readout you know don't don't go in don't throw bodies try and just stack bodies on that readout and shoot them out especially until he gets reinforcements in i think this is yeah very that's smart. the smartest play you can, you can do now. i mean lfl's uh pretty much uh gone almost flag still up though so still got that to worry about but that right uh all these union units in the middle here sb uh got some other units in there you know on the right so if they don't get those oh, he's going in, Ooh. which... Ooh, I don't know about this. Yeah, that, that's what I was talking about there. Don't, uh, I mean, I don't blame him. He's wiped out LFL, but uh, not right. Yeah, here comes, here, here comes Ulti to knock him back. Yeah. I mean, where's his flag went? Has he still got his flag? Well, he sent the flags very wisely back to this Fort uh, yeah, Georgia yeah. kind of point, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty smart. So he could, yeah, but, I, I mean, he could afford to make that, you know, I, I still wouldn't have done it, but, you know, it's not the worst move possible. Yeah, it's, 
it's not the worst. I mean, you've uh, took out LFL, but the only thing is, is the flag will get up again, so... They have yeah. evened out tickets just about, though, which is, you know... Yeah, it was actually it was quite good. Uh, but like, like I said, I would have uh, probably held that readout with the men. Seems like mm, Fourth George is going in again. Yeah, again, I I don't know about these individual units coming up here, man. I, I really oh. don't like it. Come back, come back, some Mickey, some Mickey, come back, come back. Some right, Clarky's doing what I was thinking. Just, just, just hold. Back. If he charges, it's going to be very. Yeah. Oh, right there is fine. He's got anybody yeah, right with him. Yeah, fine. Yeah, he's he's got his flank protected because he's you know where he is and these brambles. Mm. You know, he's got so I, I'm I'm kinda of fine with this positioning. Is it, is it killing hey, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, he might have seen uh, how much was facing him and he's like, Yeah, nah. I mean, yeah, twenty of Charger and fifty second are that's quite a big unit. Yeah. You still got troops coming up here, like here comes uh six Texas coming back in from Maine, they'll be there in a moment. Yeah, they'll we'll be uh they'll be back in there back in that fight. Seems and then we like got your eighteenth uh, and uh, two core coming back in now as well. Yeah, some some big units coming back in there. So I think best at this situation with the time here for the CSA, I think they just need to all get together and push one point in that readout and get those flags in there. Yeah, that, that tends to be the way I like to play. Oh, oh did I miss an arty shot? Yeah, SB just got hit by R there again. Who was that? Oh, yeah, they did. Oh, I can see the smoke this time. I can actually check and see who it was. Jeff Davis battery. That was that one. Oh, yeah, Mr. Fork. Yeah, that was a good shot. Perfectly timed. Yeah, but yeah, Union's still holding strong. I quite like this. Uh, 20th Georgia here as well. A little bit out of the readout. I quite like that there. For anyone that pushes up, you can catch them out. Oh, that, oh, on the right side. Okay, I was like, where Yeah, right side, yeah. Yeah, that's a good positioning by Jumbo, I think. Yeah. So it looks like the CSA did slow down the battle here and are... Mm -hmm. uh, Gonna wait to get all their men back, I think. They're uh, coming back in the tickets now. That ticket belt was slowly coming back to their side. Yeah, looks like the CSA is back up to full strength now, from what I can tell. Yeah, I think, I think they've got all the units here. I mean that center that redoubt is quite open right now. I think that's the, I think that's the play. Yeah, that's what that's what I would probably do is push that center. Even even though you've got units on the right and the left, you can easily defend that because you need to like either force them into the redoubt into you or they either get out of cover and try and push you in the open and. Well, the way that goes doesn't work most of the time. Yeah, I'm not sure what else the Union could really do at this point. Um, yeah. I don't know, would you change anything up uh, with the Union defense? Oh, wait a second, yeah. Hold that thought, looks like we do have another push. Yep, Two core going in. in. I like that, 18 score in the left, on the left as well. AMG's going in. Fourth and third Alabama going in together as yeah, well. This, this looks much better to me. Yeah, this is this it all, all together. I don't know. I don't know about pushing over the readout, but if if they if they can get some casualties on here. That, that um, be... I mean, if if it was me, I might assign one unit as like a flag guardian for the four flags mm -hmm. on the yeah. center, and everybody else go in. I mean, that fourth Georgia and third Alabama has uh, crumpled that left flank of LFL, and now they'll, all they've got to deal with is 20th, but, uh, yeah, that was actually, that was actually quite good, they beat that left flank. Although, yeah, the canister came in and hit him, kind of, might have turned the tide on him, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I, I would have, I mean, personally, even though I quite like the, the charging and the, and to that fight and stuff, I would probably be the unit that just says, I'll keep some guys back with the flag. Yeah, like you've got an ANV and 18th are kind of back here. I would have just sent mm -hmm. all the flags there. I see a lot yeah. of flags in the dirt. Like I see one outside the uh, the Brambles out here. I don't know why nobody's going to pick that one up. Yeah, it's. I mean, fourth and third have got a strong position here. 
Oh, they're going away. They're going away. They're going away. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm uh, this SP position still quite strong. Uh, but I mean that they can come in. And yeah, I'm, I'm looking at Perkington's gun right now. I'm a little, I'd be a little bit nervous about staying there with that gun right there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the CC has actually got a foothold now. It's pretty good. Yep, there it is. Ooh, there it is. That's it. That's a good shot. Georgia, there he goes, fourth and further. They're, they're gone. Well, like you said, they still have their main position now. Uh, yeah, they've still, so. got, they've still got that centre. They've still got further Alabama. That's a big force. Uh, got six, 18th, second core flags in there. Fourth's getting their flag back. That's good. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to keep making fun of all you CSA guys that are leaving this flag down outside the wire. Yeah, I know. I see that. I don't know why. I, I would send some to get. Even if it's but, not yours, I got it. Just pick it up and then go with them or die when they, you know, just yeah, F9 when they get there, when you find out whose it is. That, that's what I say to my guys. Uh, if I'm leading, I always, before that, I say, pick up any flag that's down. I don't care if it's not ours. You pick it up, you go with them. Because it's a, this whole thing's about teamwork. It's not about yourself. Yep. Uh, it was some close air support uh, helping out six Texas. <laughs> yeah. Male and SB, man. Danger close. Yep. Oh, hey, there was a charge in after that. Third Alabama saw. Yep, fourth Georgia is left out here. 20 is going in here. Try to clear out. Clark is moving very wisely. That's smart. It's a good charge so far. We'll see how far it goes. Yep, seems like you took the top path. Maybe that now. Fourth. I quite like that from Clarky. He's trying to get that flag back. He moved away straight away. But I don't think they've got it back so soon. Oh, what was that? We got 56 yeah, trying to get a firing line here to stop them. Now we got taking losses, both teams at 17. This is looking much better for the CSA, I think. Yeah, much better. If I, if I was the CSA now, I wouldn't stay on these caissons because that is the point. He's going to try and push out back onto the readout again. Yep. Oh, we got a charge coming in. Oh, HEL yeah. came in on a nice angle against third Alabama here. That was good. That was a good charge, right? That's a good angle. Yeah, I would. Would you keep? Would you try to keep this momentum going for the Union and, and push him out of here? Oh, if if we were on a, a roll like that, I would uh, <laughs> keep going. Uh, but even, even if I'm passing all the units, I would be shouting at them. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. But yeah, LFL came in, backed them up on the charges, and they've actually took out that big strong CSA position in the centre there. Yeah, I, w I would too. Uh, even though you're going to lose a lot of tickets, I, I really think you need to try to knock down the enemy flags and buy yourself mm -hmm. some time. Because again, I don't think you win this game on tickets. I think you win it on time. Yeah, it's on time because uh, that, that's like uh, hookers when I anteed them for the CSA. It's try and knock out the flags. Yeah. Try and get them back to main and best time running. We still got Todd back here. It's kind of the security position along with 3rd Alabama. Yeah, she did knock down these flags. They're going to get their men back. Yeah, uh, I just saw Sergeant Liam from 4th recover a flag over there, he ran out there and picked one up. Just second calls picked another flag up. This is uh, this is what I would be trying, I would be saying, uh, trying to get the closest flags to me, try and get them up. But yeah, it seems like CSA have still got that readout though, so that's yeah, quite, they got, good. they got at least three flags up, they got one down, but three flags up, that is, mm -hmm. that's quite a lot. It's, it's a lot, especially with the respawn time at five yeah, seconds. Five so. seconds, uh, it's, I don't know, six, well, 18 every 30 seconds, 36 mm -hmm. every minute. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot. You yeah, think it's third it. Alabama every minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, that's crazy, man. Seems like 56, Captain Phillips on the right side of the readout here. <laughs> Yeah, he looks like he's just trying to do a little bit of security. LFL's trying to move up here, but again, just by yourself. I don't I don't know how much that'll do. Yeah. You've got, you've got SB in the far left here coming Yeah, up they, this the this is, yeah, they could get their attention, and then if Ulti can hit him in the side, this could work well. Seems like Fada Alabama's ready, though. Not facing them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they need to put more yeah. pressure on this. Mm hmm. They can't. If SB charges, I think that's. Uh, uh, I, I personally wouldn't have done it because that was just going to wash a lot of tickets away. 
No, you needed a lot more pressure on the other side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, here comes LFO, actually. Yeah, it's, it's, well. it's too late, though. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit too late. Now, it looks like 56 went in as well. So this was yeah. actually a, a, you know, it wasn't perfect, but a, you know, fairly well-coordinated attack. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pushed the CSA into this, like, the center of the readout now, blob, like, blobbed them up in the middle, so, yeah. uh, if you can try and get maybe a unit in the middle, a unit in the left and the right, and try and slowly pencil them in, that's what they do. Well, yeah, yeah, but, I mean, I, I mean the CSA all they have to do is choose a side and charge it. <laughs> yeah, uh, Jumbo's coming up here, but I mean, it's the Union tickets now. Yeah. Uh, here come the CSA reinforcements, they're about 15 seconds out now. Yep, that's it. Here comes, who is that actually? Second course coming, 6 Texas, A and V, uh, Clarkies, oh, out here. Oh, uh, Clark, yeah. get up there, man. <laughs> yeah, I know, come on. Get in there. Uh, but yeah, uh, no, uh, hopefully Clarky gets in then. That's some good stuff. Oh yeah, I mean now the CSA has a a great lead here on tickets, and Union's very close to breaking. No, no, uh, what I would be coordinating if I was an officer here is uh, either charging one side of the redoubt and trying to get as many tickets in that charge. Yeah, I, I think to be honest, if you have a really successful charge, that's breaking. That's that's the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially when it's like, because uh, for some reason, but when they uh, and a lot of people run at you in this game, and you, your all side just says, tell you hold the line, and everyone goes all over the place. You've got people running forward, people running back, so that's... Oh, uh, looks, looks like Clarky is going for a wide uh, flank here. Yeah, it's, it's putting some more pressure on him here. Yeah, I actually, I actually quite like that play there. Yeah, LFL's dropping now. Yeah, that's actually quite a good play, though. Uh, ah, oh, you redeemed before. yourself, Mr. Clarky. Yeah, he has. He's redeemed himself. Uh, really but yeah, that's actually quite good. Puts pressure onto yeah, Angus. Of course, of course. still here, though. That's really still a big threat. Kind of open up that flank, and we are a hair's breadth away now from. Uh, yeah. Uh, he's pushing forward again as well. Looks like he's going to run into SB here. I think he's got a decent yeah. angle on him, but not really set for him. Yeah, I feel. Oh, he's charging him. Oh, are you going to get them in the breaking? And it's always good getting them on the breaking as they're retreating. Yeah, if he does that, it's actually quite smart. Further Obama's on his left as well. I caught SB there actually not taking in like the brunt of it. It's still kind of behind their tickets, but running away and getting a better position is actually quite smart from them. But. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's the third Alabama's about to take point here. You got to be yeah, in position to contest it. Mm -hmm. But SB can do right now is try and get the flank of that main CSA body right now. Yeah, they they got to move quick. Yep. Yeah, I, I would. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't see any time for reloads at this point. You know, yeah, it's that's that's the problem. There. Is yeah now the CSA just rolling up these Union units. Mm -hmm. And then look, and then you know. It's quick, quick as you know it, you know, you're the only unit out there I fight the full CSA team. Yep. Uh, here they go, though. Looks like Ulti's moving in. Yep. I think it might have been too late, though. A lot of the Union's dead. I mean, 56. Phillip's still up. He's still using that pistol. Yeah, but they're, they're just about gone here. Yeah, I think that's them. Yeah, SB's the only unit left, and now they gotta try to fight the whole CSA team here. It's not gonna work. Mm. Can't believe that. Captain Philip from 56 Virginia actually made it out there alive. Oh, yeah, he did, yeah. He <laughs> said he got out. Yeah, you see, the problem too is, you know, right now the CSA is still capping. Yeah, I think uh, that might be it, actually, man. Though. I forget how quick readout is. Yeah, read it. I mean, there's a stream of Union. I don't think they'll make it in time. We'll see. Yeah, I don't think so. Nope. No, that no. is it. All right. So, Mr. Liam, any uh, final thoughts on this map? Uh, I mean, not really. At the start, I was a bit, I was a bit questioning the, the thought process, but uh, 
No, Clarky actually came out and redeemed his sale at the end there, so I was happy to actually see that happen. But yeah, no, nah, both sides play great. I quite like the Union defence they done. They held quite strong for a long time. I don't, I don't think they used the clock as much as some would like to, but stuff happens, you know, got to adapt on the fly. Yep, no, absolutely, and I, I, I mean, I a big thing. I'll, 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 you know, a the clock, but the other piece is the flag is the clock. You got to knock down flags, and you got to make yep. them come from Maine. That is the key. Do not five seconds is a huge, huge thing. But anyway, um, thank you again, Mister Mister Liam. Uh, big shout no out to Fort Georgia. I will uh, check in the description for the link if you are looking both for NA and EU now. Yep, NA EU. Folks go all day NA and EU as well. So if you're into the artillery gameplay join we've got events for both times and uh quite a big community and we sit there and just do nothing for most of the day anyway <laughs> yep all right well until next time uh yeah y'all have a good one